Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the Fantasy Match Preview. This is for the first LPL game that's going to happen and it's between Jaffna and Gaul and we have Nikhil Bhai with us today. We're going to try and do short team previews to understand how the teams line up and post that we will look at the base team that we've set up and all the options that are available to you. Nikhil Bhai, how do you look at the start of this tournament? Just like the how, just like how the year has been, very grandly special. Uh, and I think it's it's something that has become a norm. We talked about it in the previous tournament as well that teams are happy to take more options with them so that hmm. they can not be worried about this guy has to go hmm. There is no such thing now apart from your designated end overs bonus. So, uh, like always, first few games, great for multiple combinations. And uh, yes, invest accordingly in small league once you have enough information on all the players. Right, absolutely. So, before we look at uh, the venue conditions and the base team, let's just quickly have a look at both the squads. So, the first squad that we're looking at is the Gaul Gladiators. And uh, they come from the famous Quetta Gladiators name in the PSL. So, same ownership. And that's why you'll see a lot of Pakistani names in the squad. And Nikhil Bhai, quickly, let's just look at who do you think is going to start from... Uh, this set of players and who do you feel are the guys that can play X Factor here? You're on mute, sir. Yeah, just I'm I'm muted looking at the list of players that they have in the top five. Uh, <laughs> because you see, Iman Wasim is a proper T20 uh, gun uh, league bowler. Uh, Iftikhar Chachu mm. has been in tremendous form. Kusal Mendes is always reliable in domestic cricket as well. Kusal Pereira's availability, I think, we'll have to see. He had a shoulder injury. Uh, Mohamed hmm. Asten again, he was bowling well in T10. What is going to be very good to see is that a lot of these players played in the T10 and happened very recently. So, while hmm. they may not have bowled four overs, but you still know something about them like Azam Khan has been in brilliant touch. So, uh, it is about how they are used now in these hmm. particular leagues, their batting spot. And uh, if Azam Khan can get going, I am very, I have lots of time for him. Right. And now that we are showing you the squads already, we thought that why should we make you wait for Grand League options? And so I'm going to throw a small surprise at Nikhil Bhai. I'm going to ask him for his X-Factor pick from this team. And then I'll tell you who my X-Factor X -factor pick from the squad is. So can be anyone, Nikhil Bhai. Even if you feel like he's not going to play the first few games and come back and play later, your X-Factor pick because we are going to keep watching this clip through the season. Uh, uh, it's actually very tough to call it right at the start of the season because you, you're not quite sure who is definitely going to start. So hmm. I'll take I'll take two names. One is uh, purely on form, that is Iftikhar Ahmed. Because hmm. he's been, I mean, to be consistent in T10 is very tough, even if you're Nicholas Puran. Uh, so sorry, I had to get that out of. And the next option is Mohamed Asnain because I feel he's a great uh, prospect. He's been through a lot. And if he can have a good a good few tournaments, it will be good for it. Right. So now that Nikhil Bhai has gone with the flavor of the ownership, I'll go with the flavor yeah. of the country. I'm going with uh, my two picks, Kusal Pereira, because he's coming back from injury and such players with the kind of, I, I still, I know this is not related to T20s, but whenever I remember that innings in South Africa, I just feel like that guy has something in him to be able to pull that off. And we know that he that attacking yeah. ability. So that is my international player, you can call it so. And my local player to watch out for if he plays will be Nimesh Vimukti. He's a left-arm spinner and he's someone who's very sharp. He'll keep hitting the stumps. So while he might go for a few, he can take some wickets. So these are my two players to watch out for from Gaul. And now let's look at the other squad that we have that is of Jaffna. And uh, just give me a second till I show that to you on my screen. So here we have some big names, Nikhil Bhai. And uh, here, who do you see as the guys that will probably end up starting for you or guys who you feel might not start even though they seem like bigger names? Yeah, there are a couple of them in the image as well. But again, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the big names that is and my favorite player is definitely there. So, yeah, if you wanted to ask who will win, then this is the, this is the team. Let's zoom uh, in and zoom out on that. <laughs> Yes, apologies to the sponsors for this, but yeah, Tisara Paisa, you cannot uh, you cannot rule him out. Uh, very underused and uh, sometimes overused, but I think he's someone who I feel will want to lead from the front. May not always bowl is all four overs of quota, 
but he's known hmm. to bowl when it matters and he could potentially take you three for give you a 16 ball 30 and that's prime candidate for a captain vice captain option so i think his form will be very critical uh, there are plenty of good names as well you see in gurbaz who's in form there is velalage who's in hmm. form uh, played that played well in that last game that he finished so i'll go with the two sri lankans here in this one uh, tisar albert as the first player that i feel will definitely be of crucial importance and uh, dunit velalage right very fair two big picks and uh, just like nikhil bhai has a favorite being housed in this team i also have a favorite being housed in this team and dananjay de silva he's my captain and vice captain you must have seen across international games so i am backing him to come good one more time and because the flavor is an off spin batting all rounder my second x factor pick is uh, someone who would also love to play against quetta rather against gol because of the quetta flavor is shoaib malik so these are my two picks who i think can come good the thing is that this team specifically is loaded with a lot of international talent so we might not see as many locals playing so it will be interesting to see how that pans out and how they balance it and another key point for you to keep in mind is dilshan madhushanka is also part of the squad but he's been injured off late so again not too sure about his availability so these yeah. are two things that you must keep in mind when you pick your teams for this spec from the specific squad and uh, that rounds up the squad preview and our x factor picks now let's look at the base team that we have prepared for you so the base team has a mix of quite a few interesting picks and we start with the keepers we have gone with the two keepers who are in form kusal mendes and ramanullah gurbaz like we mentioned what kusal pereira if he plays then we will obviously slot him in maybe in place of azam khan or the likes but for now we are not too sure on his availability so we have not slotted him in and iftikhar ahmed and tisara pereira are other two batters even though they can actually bowl quite a bit for you nikhil bhai any other picks from this section in terms of batting yeah i think it will depend completely on who's playing and uh, hmm. the injury status for a few of the guys so there will be a you talked about uh, kusal pereira as well he right very fair player. then hmm. so if you if you backing again we are not somebody who's batter fc we are always going to be bowler and around us fc so आपको नीचे भी दिखेगा ज्यादा बोलर्स हैं हमारे पास इस गेम में भी तो इट इज इज एंटायरली योर कॉल बिकॉज इट्स अ फर्स्ट गेम ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट वी आर नॉट रियली श्योर ऑफ द स्कोर्स यूजुअली हम एंड टोटा टू डू सी 170 और काइंड ऑफ एवरेज स्कोर्स इज वेल सो वंस वी हैव अ सेट टोन दैट ओके दिस इज व्हाट इज हैपनिंग देन वी कैन हैव अ क्लोजर कॉल इन टर्म्स ऑफ ओके दीस आर द बैटर्स टू पिक सो या आई थिंक फॉर नाउ इट विल प्रोबब्ली बी अ सेफ गेम टू बिगिन विद एंड देन वी स्टार्ट टेकिंग रिस्क right very fair call then when you look at the all rounders that we have gone with dananjay de silva and imad wasim and dananjay de silva will be our captain like you can expect and in the bowling we have gone with four bowlers in binura fernando lakshan sandakan asnan and tikshana so all of these guys have had some sort of international exposure and they have had game time off late binura was impressive in whatever we saw him last and sandakan is someone who's been off the hook as far as international is concerned but this is the place where he'll want to prove himself and while you might see his economy to be expensive he's very attacking so he can give you fantasy value yes and the thing here to also keep in mind is we have also gone with players who we think are more likely to bowl more overs so that is also something for you to consider a lot going ahead uh, which we've seen in the recent past that at times your your support bowlers are not going to bowl a lot if they don't start well hmm. so for fantasy it then becomes very important to at least have try and cover as many bowling options as you can who are more likely to bowl and create impact so for now we've gone with big names but come at the game time post toss if you see that okay the big names are playing but there are better support bowlers that you think will bowl for you can go ahead and take them as well right absolutely and another last point for you to keep in mind is binura was not part of the last series now if yeah. it's regarding injury or not we don't know because the lack of information is something we can't do much about but asita fernando was part of that series and he's also part or going to be part of this game so just in case binura does not play he's a good option for you to slot in yeah. so that is the round up 
of our base team for this game. And in case you're wondering whether GL picks up, we covered them at the start in the way of the X Factor picks. So ensure yep. you watch that. And because I'm doing this preview with Nikhil Bhai, and because the first LPL game and Tisara Pereira is playing it, I have no reason but for the jersey giveaway question for this game to be how many runs will Tisara Pereira score in this match? And you can mention 30 or 15, 30 or 14, how many ever you feel, because we have to give some sort of tiebreaker. If everyone comments 30 or 29 and he scores that much, I'm going to have a tough time. And before we close, Nikhil, by tell, tell us how many runs you think he'll make in this one. Uh, 46 of 23. Let's go. Wow, that is <laughs> that, that is uh, a gutsy pick. So we'll uh, close it there. Thank you yeah. so much to everyone who tuned in. We hope you enjoyed this preview. And while we don't know if we'll cover every LPL game, we'll surely yeah. cover the first game of every team so that we cover you in terms of the squad and the X Factor picks that we think can help. So we yeah. hope you enjoyed this one and all the good luck to you for the game. Yes, please. Invest, See you in the next one.